2022's about Sasha slash Ja Tantra thoughts show or you know if they make more than one season then this is just covering season one so spoilers for every single episode in this season and yeah absolutely loved this entire season this video is not going to be the review itself this is where I get into spoilers so you know if you watch this entire video and feel like there's something missing you know it's very likely I get into it in the review so we start with the first episode Princess of the Shadows so we open on the camera panning across half-naked male bodies especially focusing on the torsos they're laughing and yeah over the course of the episode occasionally Sasha will be reminded of this it's clear it was a traumatic event it's why she changed schools and they actually keep going back to this throughout the entire season every it, it, I'm, I'm not sure it's every single episode but most episodes will have a detail about this and Sasha is asked to go to the front of the class to introduce herself which is of course a nightmare scenario and she acquits herself rather well and I think this is uh, um, right before this we have the the bit where you know the the some of the people who end up becoming her friend group actually you know one of them is like we thought that you would be a boy because of your name and you know when it's the yeah you can tell that it it gets to to Sasha and during class Sasha looks at gender signifiers primarily female ones basically trying to gauge how well she fits in what she could do better and she does also briefly look at the neck of I think it's Alex and flashes back to the traumatic event and when one of the friend group people says something homophobic, Sasha stifles her natural reaction to it, again because of the trauma. And she has a new phone number because she was bullied on the old one at the end of the episode. One of the bullies has discovered her new number. And she turns down swimming because of her intersex body not fitting female gender signifiers. And the traumatic event appears to be linked to her body not fitting male gender signifiers. This is, of course, of course, one of the issues intersex people deal with. I should say, I am I'm referring to Sasha using female pronouns because for most of the season, this is what she does and what she seems most comfortable with. I, I realize some intersex people go by they, them, but Sasha never says that that's something that she wants so and and it's clear that she she definitely doesn't want to be referred to as male anymore now and yeah at the dinner table the mother accidentally refers to Sasha as Pauline's brother and I think it's worth noting it's not on purpose and the mother clearly does feel bad but she also doesn't apologize or correct herself it's clear she's still struggling to accept Sasha as a girl and after the parents have a shouting match her mother slides the medical records under the door some pages have been torn out does and and Sasha does find the medical term for intersex looks it up I really appreciate the show got to this reveal so early you know over the course of this episode I wasn't entirely sure when they would reveal it uh, you know I knew going into the show that Sasha was intersex now, and Sasha has memorized the father's charge card number and buys a guinea pig for Pauline to cheer her up Pauline offers teaching Sasha makeup Sasha turns it down probably feeling awkward 
about letting her younger sister teach her something. You know, she feels like, no, 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 I teach you things, you don't teach me things. And legitimately sad and scary ending to the episode. And that brings us to episode two, The Empress Approves. We see more of the flashback, realize it was a physical assault of Sasha by the cis boys, tearing off Sasha's clothes, which happens in a lot of physical assaults of LGBTQ people. And Sasha tried doing makeup by herself because it's bad. She claims it was her sister who forced it on her. And Cynthia and Anna verbally fight after we hear Cynthia comparing the friend group of Anna that Sasha is trying to ingratiate herself with as a court of ass kissers. And, and we see that Sasha has gotten a text from Loi as a follow-up to on trying to understand her intersex identity better. And this is actually um, Loi is a real person and they actually do work with this you know intersex trying trying to make sure that intersex individuals in France have a community I really hope I'm not misgendering as, as far as I understand Loi goes by they them Pauline tries to join the friend group it's too soon she's mad at Sasha for them being uh, uh, yeah for for them moving and I do gotta briefly get into so I actually you know what before I before I dive into it I will start by saying I want to make it clear I'm not you know it doesn't bother me when media explores sexuality I'm only bothered by the fact that here we have characters and possibly even actors who are not of age yet among my favorite movies are The Piano Teacher the Aronofsky film Mother and Cronenberg's Videodrome movies that use sex to examine the human condition you know it 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 is only the fact that the the underage you know you have Pauline I'm not going to be repeating what she said but she says it in this scene when she's trying to join the friend group and it is what leads to them laughing at her her walking off Sasha you know going up to her and saying I know you want friends you can join this friend group just not right away we also have the the detail about in in episode three there's a detail about someone having sex at a young age and just it would be so easy to change to to say that it happened more recently you know the character is 17 as the show you know it could have been a much more recent thing or just change it from sex to kissing it would be significantly less problematic for it near the end of the season it seems like Pauline and Alex are dating at least that is called out by some characters and in the finale Pauline asks Alex for sex cries when he doesn't agree you know like French movies and very are very likely other French shows it has underage characters express sexuality occasionally outside of exploring teenage emotion in my opinion that is you know the only way that this kind of thing is acceptable is when you are exploring teenage emotion and even then it should be avoided as much as possible this I get it I I know that you know actually if you if you want to hear the 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 counter argument um, the the um, I'll, I'll, there's a, there's a video that, you know, yeah, there's a, I'll, I'll, if I don't forget, I'll, I'll put a link in the, in the description box where the, um, 
let's see, it is Khadija Mbowe, and it's her video on the, uh, did she just call it, um, let's see, uh, okay, I think it's this one, where, yeah, because she's talking about the movie QTs, where, you know, and, and I think, you know, I'm not looking to, you know, this, this conversation does not affect me as much as it does affect, you know, women that are, whether cis or trans, so I'm not, I'm not saying that I, did, I'm just expressing my opinion. Now, let's see. So yeah, um, once the father likes the guinea pig, of course he can't actually have it returned. It was, you know, I, I like that the, you know, at first it's like, so um, I guess you want to, you know, oh, here it is, by the way, you know, look at his, you know, adorable little face, you know. And it's kind of cute and very much a bad joke when he pretends that he loses control of it and it seems to drop, but he caught it. You know, like, he knew he knew what he was doing. He knew that he would have fast enough reflexes to catch it. But he pretends that, you know, just, yeah. See. Yeah, and Sasha says she's going to a party. Her mother insists that Pauline go with, which is very, very parent stuff and the kind of thing the teenagers hate. And Sasha overhears her parents arguing about the handling of the intersex situation. And Sasha buys beer for Pauline. And Pauline is really loving going out, dancing and such. I, I don't know enough about dancing to say, is she being a dorkable or is she, is, does she have fly moves as the kids I don't know if they're still referring to it like that, but yeah, it's you know it's nice seeing her so happy at the very least. Like she's just yeah, like you know the the thing about oh she's being taken to a party and you know she doesn't really know the people there. It's just, you know you could imagine she might be like really shy. You know um, what's what's the term wallflower kind of thing. You know, but no, she's she's super into it. So. Really relieved when Anne and the others show up. Pauline is proven wrong about Sasha being ghosted. I I was very very concerned. And Anna says Sasha dances like a guy. Alex is interested in both Pauline and Sasha and seems like she might feel the same way. But when he expresses interest in in kissing her, and I I really appreciate you know he's he's expressing interest non-verbally and waiting for her consent and when she doesn't consent he doesn't like get angry uh, you know the the I'd, I'd like to think Anna has better taste on wanting to be friends with someone who would and and that's the thing like you know for for any conservative for any misogynist who who you know says oh you know how you know it completely ruins the the moment if you verbally ask for consent well Look at something like this, you know, he's, you can, you can very clearly tell, like, he's basically, he is leaning in for, for the kiss, and when she doesn't, you know, lean in, he, he accepts that, okay, you know, not, maybe it won't happen at all, maybe it won't, maybe it just won't happen now, but certainly that was a very clear no, and he doesn't, you know, because that's really, that's that's what a lot of, a lot of straight women, or, or bi or pan, you know, if they're dealing with a guy, like, they just want us to get consent before the, the you know, before kissing, sex, and that kind of thing. And if we ask for consent, and they decline for us not to get angry about it, and there's no reason to get angry. Let's see, it's just an expression of insecurity to get angry about it. Like, there are things to be angry about. Injustice in the world is something that we should be angry about. Let's 
and we get a few glimpses, finally a more concrete look at the picture on the cell phone. Let's see. And uh, let's see. You know, I, I, I watched the season over this, over the week leading up to today. I don't actually remember. I think at this point in the season, let's see, we're on, we're on episode two. I believe this is the, the, what's it called? Uh, I'm having a little trouble finding. Oh, right, right. The, yeah, it's the, it's like a comic, um, drawing that yeah yeah that's it's yeah it's been sent to her by the by the bully cyber bully is is that I'm gonna be using that because I, I think cyber bullying isn't limited to because technically this is like through the phone rather than anyway yeah the and Sasha and Pauline accuse each other of lying, and, you know, one can understand why, to Pauline, after 15 years of knowing her sibling as a boy, would feel that Sasha identifying as a girl is a lie. It's incorrect, but we can see where she's coming from. You know, that's the, th like, again, LGBTQ people are not, they don't hate you know the the fact like some of this stuff is you know something that we have to educate ourselves by as as cishet uh, right i i meant to say that at the start of the video i am cishet i i wouldn't mind if i were lgbtq i'm just saying i don't i'm not speaking with authority on this i'm sharing my opinion and really like some of these videos are more for my fellow cishets because I know a number of cishets who refuse to listen to LGBTQ people. They just shut down when, you know, so, yeah. But, but yeah, you know, us cishets, we're, LGBTQ people just want us to educate ourselves. And there's a lot of, like, you can go on YouTube, there's a lot of people explaining this kind of thing. Just don't, like... Don't react negatively when you realize someone is LGBTQ, and don't ask offensive questions to people. You know, just like if there is a a question that is in any way interesting to know about an LGBTQ about how that's different from cishet. It's, you know, you can, you, if you look around, you will find someone giving an answer, whether in a YouTube video, you know, yeah, in a video or text or such. You don't have to approach LGBTQ people and say something that's really, really, you know, if you worry that the thing you might have to ask is offensive, you know, just, yeah, I'd, um, Yes, you know, the, the things that are acceptable to, to say to LGBTQ people, you can find that out online without, you know, you don't have to have a conversation with someone that you might offend by saying something that's actually really, really bigoted. And back to the episode, Sasha threatens letting the skates drop. I really don't think she meant... To ever drop them she just wanted to hurt Pauline back for calling her a liar for trying to live her truth you know it's very it, like obviously it's it's really really upsetting for Sasha that Pauline says that you know but the guinea pig surprises Sasha and the skates get dropped Pauline says I hate you to Sasha I really appreciate that Sasha does take action to to fix the, the situation in the, I believe, in the very next episode. Which brings us to the third episode, 
high school troubles. And yeah, so back when Sasha identified as male, we see a very natural progression from Sasha, uh, you know, it's, um, yeah, so this, yes, this is Elias. Sasha beats uh, Elias in the video game, uh, you know, threatens to spit on him, and, you know, kissing, and then talking about the scars. You know, Sasha does still let Elias perform oral, and, you know, obviously this is what led to the flashback physical assault, uh, you know, and that's also why Sasha gets so upset about the physical at the physical intimacy between her and Anna near the very end of this episode. And yeah, I, I really appreciate this kind of like you know, it it doesn't automatically, but if you look you know, if you look at the the body language between Sasha and Elias, like there's a lot of little hints that, you know, like, you know, Elias expresses frustration at losing to Sasha, but the, you know, Elias doesn't actually get, like, angry. He doesn't say or do something that, like, you know, he's, he's not like, get out of my room, we're not friends anymore, or something. And, you know, when, when Sasha leans over and is threatening to, to spit on Elias, you know, again, there's, there's little, little hints of that, that, you know, it is the, the, you know, it, it yeah, the, the, they're expressing interest in each other, uh, you know, let's see. And Loey does a lot to clear things up about the intersex situation, especially appreciate the point that it's not an illness, you know, it's just a matter of not conforming to the binary norm. And in the mall, Pauline and Sasha play around with makeup to make up. And the mother invites Anna over. Like, I, I really appreciate it. It's very, very, like, this is the kind of way that a lot of parents of teenagers behave. Because, you know, in her mind, this is like, no, you know, the, the, you know, she can meet the entire family. And, of course, your friend can come over, you know, kind of thing. But, like, to Sasha, it's like, oh, don't do that. I'm not, you know, I'm supposed to play it cool. I'm not supposed to you know, and, and certainly I don't want my mother involved already, kind of thing, you know, so. And Pauline tries to cover for the old picture of Sasha by saying it's their cousin, which, you know, it that is a really great, um, what's the, um, you know, the, the, she kind of, yeah, it was necessary to, to try to cover for that. And we have some dinner table conversation. Man, I guess it's insult mom day. Anna explains why Cynthia is referred to as herpes and says the to Sasha devastating line, no one wants a weird pussy. Let's see. And that brings us to episode four between the legs. In a flashback, we see Sasha as a child. We see the decision made to operate to make Sasha conform with male traits. And, you know, some of the things here, you know, the, the you know, Sasha is asked, who is your favorite friend? Uh, you know, boy or girl? Which, whichever, who's your favorite, you know, and, and, you know, you can understand why they would think that that's, you know, no, no, we just have to figure out which side of the binary this person falls on, and then it's just, you know, it's not going to be super easy, but, you know, we'll, we'll do the operations and, and the, you know, 
but yeah, it's it's a yeah, it's a it's a misunderstanding of of intersex. It's it's trying to force it to fit the the gender binary which by the way it, the gender binary is not this thing that like oh you know of course like no it's it's the the you know the the i feel like i've talked way too much about monotheism recently i'm i'm not trying to go back to my anti-theist days. I remain an atheist, but let's just say certain cultures have felt that everybody had to conform to the gender binary and yeah, because of that it's it's literally enforced, you know. You hear like wacky cons wacko conservatives claiming, "Oh, you know, trans individuals they want everyone to have to transition they want to force it upon you know people who don't want to transition which is just a completely absurd and incredibly hateful thing to say and as with so many things you know i i forget i'm not sure who originated this but dane of actual fandom uh, certainly I've, I've seen use it with conservatives, every accusation is a confession. Conservatives do, many conservatives do support, you know, forcing intersex people to conform to the gender binary. And that's actually harmful and often done without their consent. There's no, like, big movement by, you know, to, to force people to transition or trick them into transition or anything like that. And Anna tells Sasha she's forgiven, but doesn't do the project with her. And Sasha is told it's not okay for her to use the ladies' room because she doesn't conform to cis standards. And you know, there's the thing. Well, you know, what if someone complains? What if what if a parent complains? Uh, you know, it's yeah. Ag you know, ag again, like. You know, Sasha even points out, what am I supposed to do? Hold it? Go to the boys' room? Like, you know, you, you really think that it's going to be a particularly good thing for anyone if Sasha, presenting as female, tries to use the boys? You know, just, yeah. And Sasha ends up with a doctor who does not respect her wishes, and this is sadly something that many LGBTQ people have to deal with, even though they shouldn't have to. And Sasha pushes the plane too far, accidentally hurts Pauline. But, you know, after she does fix her skates, that helps a lot. And, right, this, this was the first episode to... Oh, right, yeah, I, I got that wrong early. Yeah, in, in episode episode 2, the skates get dropped. Episode 3 doesn't have anything happen with the skates. But episode 4, she, she fixes them. And, yeah, this is the first episode to not have any flashbacks to the physical assault. And, yeah, <clears throat> it, wasn't, it wasn't really necessary for that particular episode. Which brings us to episode 5. Earth rise, and we see the aftermath of the physical attack. Sasha has received medical attention. Uh, you know she has, uh, like, there's a there. I I if I recall, it's it's around here. Like, there's a, a cut that they they put some some band aid kind of thing on. And she's talking with her parents, saying things like she wished she had been killed as a baby. That she wished someone would just tear off the things between her legs. And these are things that are expressed by individuals with gender dysphoria. It's why it's extremely important that they're supported in how to become comfortable with their body, which for many means gender um, gender affirming care. But not all. And let's see. You know, not, not all uh, intersex want to, to choose one or the other, and they shouldn't have to. 
you know, it's not actually dangerous to be intersex, but the operations can can cause, you know, all operations. There is some chance that it'll that, that something will go wrong, and yeah, intersex, you know, if I understand correctly, intersex by itself does not, you know, a lot of intersex people do not need any operations. There are, you know, things can happen unrelated to intersex where they might need some kind of operation, but the the actual, you know, yeah. And Cynthia feels like no matter what she does, it's not right, being polite, being hardened to fight the bullying. And then she says to Sasha, there's no way Sasha won't understand not being accepted, which again, like, just, yeah. I think I did expect Cynthia to be a bigger part. I, does she even appear after? She, she appears briefly in the finale, but I, th I, I'm not sure she appears between episode five and the finale. Yeah. Now, let's see. Yeah, and Anna and Sasha air their grievances and make up. Very effective montage of a number of days passing. Sasha is stronger than Alex, which makes Alex very insecure. And I appreciate, again, you know, like, apparently, like, he walks off for a, for a little while, but he comes back, and they, you know, they're still friends. And the friend group talk about the future. Really, really great. Sasha smokes with the others, and it's some sort of hallucinogenic, very realistic depiction of drug use. And their father takes off, even though he was Pauline's ride. And Sasha doesn't answer because her phone went in the water. Pauline is kicked off the team. Sasha collapses because of the mixing of the drugs. I That is also a thing, like, by the end of the season, there wasn't really... Like, they talked about... Maybe Pauline could be, you know, a different kind of skater, but she said that's only for rich people and our family is poor. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, maybe they are expecting another season. But this, I, I, like I said, I have very, I think this is the first French show I watch. I'd like to watch more, you know. I, I love some French cinema, but... Uh, you know, I've, I don't think I've ever avoided watching something because it was in French. I know some people are not fans of, of subtitles, but but the the yeah, um, it was um, so so yeah. I don't know. You know, in in America, you know, if 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 a show doesn't get another season right away, it might mean that it never will get another season so I don't know if that's the same thing for for French TV and I, I will say they did address the most important you know plot lines and such Let's see. and you know the the thing with the drugs like you know seemingly there's no peer pressure but you know at the end of the day like you know what's Sasha gonna say you know I'm taking medication that I'm not supposed to mix with hallucinogens, you know, like, yeah. And and to be clear, I don't think, you know, I, I you know, if you're underage, you probably shouldn't be having any drug experiences, but, you know, once you're of age, as long as you know what you're getting into, as long as you understand the drug you're taking, you know, I don't think, I, I think there's way too much, some some people are way too upset about uh, drugs like obviously like it with with drugs like with most other things everything in moderation you know Let's see. and episode 6 you really want to do homework and in a flashback, Sasha in the class that she was in watched a nature documentary, and that was where she saw the squid and is bullied, being compared to it. 
<clears throat> and the doctor gets one of the gel packages from Sasha, but we do later see she kept at least one. Let's see. And that's also, you know, if they, like, they apparently moved from Paris to a smaller, you know, town, city, some, something, you know, and it's possible that I actually I have no idea about doc you know how how easy it is to to switch doctors in in France I I have to admit I'm very very uh, yeah I I really don't know much at all of that the 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 Chernobyl thing is <laughs> holy crap but yeah like I you know, I'm sure it's it's impressive for the person who can down it, and it's probably fun for the others to watch that, but just, yeah. And I, you know, I, I think I ended up not writing down, but, like, afterwards, like, the mother, you know, the mother downs it, and, like, not long after, she goes, like, oh, I gotta get some water, and I was thinking, yeah, some of the stuff you put in that would make you ridiculously, like, yeah, so that's, yeah. And Pauline, Sasha, and her mom all do impressions of each other. And, you know, at, at first, like, when they're doing impressions of Sasha, I was like, don't don't be mean. But, you know, it's, you know, they go on to make in, all of them do impressions of each other. So, you know. And Sasha and her mother order new skates for Pauline using the father's charge card because Sasha still remembers the numbers. I really hope that they were smart enough not to use an actual charge card because they literally do say every single number, uh, you know. So, yeah, it's like, no, they they must have been careful to to make up a number that wouldn't work if you tried to use it in real life. And the mother tells Sasha it's important for her to let herself fall in love again. Not every boy will be like Elias. She deserves love which is an extremely important point for LGBTQ people. And there's some conflict between Anna and Sasha over Alex. And Miva manages to take off both Sasha and Anna. And Louis warns Sasha about sex, pointing out she already knows some people will have a very negative reaction to learning that you are intersex. Alex and Sasha talk, drink, kiss. It seems like they're going to have sex, but Sasha gets anxious, slaps him, and runs away. Right, also, um, I think it was in an earlier, yeah, earlier episode, like, when Sasha turns down, you know, sex with, with Anna, really, really ugly that the, the, that there really was a bet, and, you know, yeah, the that that me um I think it's me va Miva, not Mirva. Miva and Anna apparently bet whether or not Sasha was lesbian. And Miva throws it back in her face just to, to bug her, not to be like yeah. Let's see. Alex sends a voice message to Sasha apologizing for pushing her into sex professing his love, and Sasha calls Loi, says Alex is in love with her, you know, she's trying to convince herself that this time it will go well, and that is, like, you know, just imagine being in that situation, feeling like, wait, is no one ever going to love me romantically? You know, that's, like, it's such a, just, yeah. And I appreciate that the show focuses so much on that because, you know, that I've, I've seen some, some interview, you know, yeah, that, that it was important to the, the show creator, showrunner, not to make it like a medical fetishistic thing. Because a lot of people, when they hear about someone not conforming to the gender binary, you know, they, they get 
they start seeing pictures in their heads, you know, they and they want to focus on that, when really, like, intersex people are just as human as cishet. Like, it sounds ridiculous to say that out loud, but some people need to hear that, you know? And I really appreciate this show actually... Yeah, it, it's about Sasha is a teenager looking for, for love, looking for acceptance, friendship, you know, just wanting to live something resembling a normal life. And, yeah. And, and they actually managed to not make it about, you know, oh, things would have been better if she weren't intersex, because that's not supportive. That's, you know, that's still... Yeah, so, so... And Pauline wants to sit with Sasha, happy about the skates. Sasha walks away. Sasha gets another text bullying her, so she calls the number. And, you know, the, the, yeah, the, apparently the, the number says Elias, but the, the, at the end of the season, the, the, um, Elias says that that wasn't him sending those texts. So I, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, wait, wait, um, when she received a text from someone cyberbullying her, she assumed it was Elias and added to the contact as Elias so she would know if it was the same person sending multiple. Yeah, that's, that's, I, I figured that's what happened, you know, and she leaves a message on the machine. And Alex sends Sasha an audio message saying Sasha is special. It's like she's an angel. That brings us to episode 7, No Longer Alone. And the opening flashback reveals one of the reasons Pauline couldn't or might not be able to skate was Sasha, according to the parents. And Greg tells Sasha she will need community like he did when he transitioned three years ago. And that is indeed extremely important for LGBTQ people. You know, and it's again one of those things where, like, when LGBTQ people have people around them that accept them for who they are, how, you know, validate their feelings, they, like, studies show they feel significantly better which, comparatively, there's a lot of conservatives, you know, you can get a lot of them into a, a room, and you can have them talk to each other, and they might agree with a lot of things, but they're not, they might still be really angry, because the problem wasn't that they weren't being accepted, the problem, you know, that a lot of conservatives are dealing with the, the, you know, the harm done to all of us by capitalism and patriarchy, and because conservative, you know, conservatives keep voting for people who don't present solutions, they just spew hate. You know, LGBTQ people having less rights will not make you happier, no matter who you are. Like, it's, it's not going to solve your actual problems. And they all go to the pool. Things were awkward between Alex and Sasha. And Miva and Sam drag Sasha to the pool, throw her into the water, which triggers her anxiety because of how much it reminds her of the physical assault that the show flashes back to. And the moment they realize it crossed the line, they apologize. She understandably does not forgive them. Also sends Alex away. She feels like there's something wrong with her. And so the attraction he feels towards her upsets her. And I, I really appreciate, you know, there's so many, I don't know if this is a thing in, in French, but, but there's so many American, you know, shows and movies for teenagers where, like, the bullies are just basically, like, there's no, there's no humanity to them, and, you know, I'll be frank, I sometimes struggle to see the humanity in bullies, but... That's not particularly useful to, to, you know, the root cause of bullying is not that, oh, you know, they were just a monster when they came out of the womb. No, something happened, and it's possible that it can be undone, and they could stop bullying, you know. But here, like, it cuts back, like, 
as much as Miva can be a jerk, like, she didn't mean for Sasha to be uh, that upset about it, you know. And Pauline tries to talk to Alex. Greg helps Sasha's mother understand transphobia. Very instructive scene. Greg uses great comparisons. You know, um, Sasha's mother... I, I wish they had given the names, but even when I look at, like, the, the cast list, it just says the mother and the father, so, yeah. She asks, is it okay to ask about your surgery? And Greg points out, would you walk into a bar and immediately ask a guy about his dick? You know, think about it. Like, why is it different? You know, like, it's only different if we think if we think of it as different. Of course it's not okay to ask someone about genitalia. Like, that's that's not... Yeah. That's something that's something private. That's something you can, can build up to, but you don't just immediately ask about that kind of thing, and you don't treat it as some sort of, you know, like... Yeah, just... It's, and Pauline goes into Sasha's laptop, takes a picture of Sasha's genitalia. I appreciate that every time it's on screen, they choose to blur it. Not because there's something wrong with what, but, you know, while this sort of thing can be a horrible experience for LGBTQ people, the show isn't looking to sensationalize. And it also doesn't, like, rest the camera on it, for, you know, when, when the, the, and, you know, I am aware that there is some French media that absolutely sensationalizes, you know, but the, the, you know, this was something very recent, you know, they've, yeah, they've grown. The, the French cinema has, has, yeah. Let's see, and Sasha goes to Loewy's LGBTQ support group. One of them talks about not having very much sensation because of the operations. Another talks about being beaten by the father. One talks about being sexually abused. And I really appreciate that the the couple of times that sexual abuse and rape come up on this show, every single time it is someone that was already like in the in the group. The the you know it was someone from the personal life of the the survivor or the would-be survivor you know it is a myth that rape is something that happens you know like it's it's a guy jumping out of a bush and raping a woman in an alley that's not anywhere near as common as people that are already close to you know people they live with family members and and that kind of thing so yeah, really, really appreciate that. And it also doesn't, like, stop the show to say, have you noticed? You know, it's just something you, you maybe pick up on. And Sasha rushes out of the meeting. It was too much, too soon. She feels like this is not her community. And by the end of the season, she, she hasn't gone back to... Yeah, and I think, is this the last time she talks to, to Loey, maybe, also? You know, it, it is... You know, I could see how it might be something that she'll return to later, but, you know, it does require a certain level of comfort. You, If, if you don't feel comfortable about it, it's, like, it is, it is basically triggering for her. It's triggering her anxiety, and, you know, I, I use the term trigger in a completely non-ironic sense. I, I mean the actual definition of triggering. Which brings us to episode 8, Heart to Heart. The opening flashback shows that Pauline saw them physically assault Sasha, and Pauline attacked with one of her skates. Badass baby sister. Holy crap, that just, yeah. I mean, I know the show isn't about, it ain't about that, but is it terrible of me that I kind of wanted the, that scene to go on? Like, I would have loved to see her, like, just attack one after the other after the other with with the skates just maybe toss the other one to Sasha and they could tag team those pieces of shit just yeah let's see 
you know, any anyone who would physically assault someone out of transphobia, yeah, you deserve that. Let's see. And me, Van Sam, apologize profusely to Sasha. They they lost sleep about it. They've been talking about it all weekend. You know, she claims she's over it. The thing is, if she tried to open up to them and explain why it was so upsetting for her, she would have to talk to other people about the traumatic physical assault. And because of the trauma of it, that is not something that she's currently ready to do. And Sasha and Anna talk. Anna confesses her love. I know you have a secret. It's okay. We don't have to do it yet. They share a bed. And Anna messages Elias. And we find out in the finale that her messaging him was so that he could, you know, she wanted to, to, um, yeah, to, to talk to him so that he, you know, ed educate him so that he would no longer be transphobic. And I do really appreciate the detail that, that, yeah, you know, for a lot of people, it is about information. A lot of people don't, you know, yeah, it's, it's, and, and I do think it is worth noting, you know, as it doesn't seem like Elias went to get help for Sasha, but he also, he didn't take part, so that is at least something. And Pauline and Alex are possibly together despite the age difference. Sasha sees that Elias is calling Anna. You know, basically, Alex is trying to make Sasha jealous, maybe even really, really angry, maybe to force her to talk to him again, maybe just to hurt her. Pauline feels like she's being treated as special, as older than she actually is, and these are things that many teenagers yearn for. You know, like, I, I do, I do re recall being a teenager and feeling like nobody's taking me seriously, nothing I say, nothing I do. You know, and, and you just you desperately want to to you know either either really quickly grow up or for people to treat you as if you have you know. And Pauline won't listen to Sasha, and Sasha confronts their father, and he does want contact with them. It's let's see, and that's also th something I really appreciate. There's a lot of media that says that you know. I want to preface the following by saying, for sure, there are some people, you know, what's the, what's the thing in the, uh, the thing in Guardians of the Galaxy 2, there are some fathers who are not daddies, there are some, you know, not every person who, like, fathers a child is a good father to the child. But a lot of them are, you know, and I mean, at the and and you know, the the fact that the mother doesn't want him to come back, I mean, she thinks that he's hurting Sasha with with the yeah. So and the guinea pig died, you know. Pauline um, doesn't. Yeah, she she apparently like did. I, I don't know enough about guinea pigs, but, um, yeah, like, maybe it was the food or water, some, something like that, you know. And she says, why do I keep fucking up everything, you know, and, yeah, again, something a lot of, of teenagers feel, and in her anger, she sends away the neighbor kid, and I don't think he reappears in the last two episodes, and I just realized... I haven't even mentioned him until now. I I didn't mind the character, but again, I don't really know what the point. Yeah, it, it might have been like if they were going to get another season or more than just one, then there would be you know more of a payoff to to him. And the picture of Sasha's genitalia has been spread. The group text is freaking out. Sasha calls. The cyberbully that she thinks is Elias threatens to kill him, and you know, yeah, my I I figured you know maybe it's Pauline that shared it, or possibly Anna, and you know the the show does confront that, and um, 
I want to briefly talk about, you know, I appreciate that if the if there is nothing more of this show, if if it doesn't get another season, that's fine. You know, it told a complete story, but it also does like you could easily see how they could do another season. Like if you know, just off the top of my head, if they were to do, you know, another season, I mean, maybe another teenager moves there to to the the place that Sasha and the the others are currently living, and you know, maybe they're not intersex, maybe they're trans or you know, non-binary, you know, some something and. Maybe Sasha, you know, forms a sort of love-hate relationship with that person because, you know, she feels like, well, you know, I've gone through this, I should be supportive, but maybe the other person has a very different, maybe they have kind of incompatible personalities or something, and maybe the, the friend group the, that usually go to the Vortex, maybe they feel like Sasha is you know, ignoring them for the sake of this other person. You know, you could definitely do something there. It's it's worth noting that the the French title translates to, not to about Sasha, but tender flesh. So it could easily be about other... Yeah. Now, that brings us to episode 9, Guts. And we open on Pauline and Alex. He seems slightly uncomfortable with her being there. And at school, everyone is looking at the picture. One guy approaches Sasha, revealing he knows it's her, demanding oral. She hits him, which I do... Yeah. Again, does, he deserves it. Let's see. You know, because, cause like, if he approached her and he said, I know that the picture is you, I have an idea for how we make people not freak out about it. You know, okay, that is a little... A little forward to go directly to her like that, but you know, at least he has the right intent. But no, he specifically says, you know, if you perform oral, you know, I won't tell anyone. And Anna assures Sasha she did not leak that photo. Sasha has is is hurt that Anna communicated with Elias. And we see multiple empty spaces before seeing Sasha at the vortex. And Sasha says everyone is fucking except for me I'm less than human I'm nothing which is just heartbreaking to to hear someone say that yeah she she has done nothing to to deserve that <clears throat> and Sasha tells Pauline how much she appreciates that she's there for her and then Pauline reveals she was the one who leaked the photo you know, yeah, and at the time I thought, you know, maybe it's to get Sasha back for hurting Alex. And the rest of that scene is only in the the finale. And we get a quick cut montage of memories, and Sasha picks at the hole in the wall. And her fascination with that has always been a visual metaphor for her sexuality. You know, it's 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 worth noting that it is not a You know, the, the hole in the wall is basically like, if, if I had to guess, I think someone maybe punched the wall or something, you know, so there's like, there you you could put your, your hand in the hole in the wall, but it isn't like made to be, you know, so it, it's, it's reminding her of the scars on her genitalia left by the you know, the, the operations that were made to force her body to conform to the gender binary, you know, and, and now we see this Cronenbergian body horror with it because she feels disgusting, which she absolutely isn't. And Sasha's parents are both called in to learn that Sasha hasn't been in since last Tuesday. At least the parents are speaking now, and the father does come back home. And at home, she explained the p the picture has been leaked. Have been leaked. 
The parents apologize for operations. Sasha expresses understanding of how difficult the decision was. I greatly appreciate the emotional intelligence on display. While, of course, it is worse for intersex and other LGBT who are treated as if there's something inherently wrong with them, it is also difficult for their legal guardians. Anna comes to Sasha's room. Sasha suggests she's going to show Anna. Anna says that's not why she's there. It's not a curiosity to see. And Sasha has an excellent monologue about how it will hurt, even if Anna loves her. Anna hears her out, says she's willing to take the risk. They start kissing, seems like they might have sex, which, and this really underlines something that a lot of people are unaware of, or at least reluctant to accept, so I hope whoever needs to hear this is listening. People don't fall in love with what you do or do not have between your legs. They fall in love with you, the person. Our misconceptions due to the gender binary is something we've been taught, and those who are willing to make the effort can unlearn those things and love and be sexually attracted to someone who does not conform to the binary. And that brings us to the finale. Oral exam. So, yeah, we, we learned that uh, apparently Alex leaked the, the picture, and I will be frank, I don't completely understand. I could, I could see how maybe Alex didn't know that it was Sasha, and just, yeah, you know. I don't know, maybe he did do it on purpose. I, I'm not going to claim that I completely... In, in which case, I think it was to... Like I talked about in, earlier in this video, he wanted to, to upset. He wanted to get to Sasha. Let's see. And... Yeah, we get a montage of Pauline and Sasha... And we, yeah, and so the, the episode keeps going back to the oral exam. And, you know, it starts out as her actually delivering this thing. And then it does the very cinematic thing. I hope she didn't fail. I hope she didn't lose, what was it, they keep calling it the, the, the Bach. Which I'm going to go ahead and guess is like a... Um, yeah, it's got to be some sort of, like, the, the, um, it's the, um, it's the equivalent of a, um, yeah, like, you know, whether or not she can go on to university or something like that, but yeah, you know, does the very cinematic thing of she's, like, delivering it's it's basically a, a thesis statement the 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 thing you are to take away from the show or at least the season more than it's uh, you know but i do like that you know she she points out you know she herself uses the word hierarchy i'm not sure she uses the word binary but you know she points out there's male and there's female you know and yeah, she starts, you know, she turns it into a monologue about being intersex, and yeah, I, I really do appreciate this thing of, you know, yeah, like, it is, you know, the, the intersex does not conform to the, the, the way a lot of people think about biology, and yeah, that is something that, you know, that's part of the, the, yeah, the, the bigotry against them. And we get a montage of stills, very, very effective, and she talks about, you know, people see her as a monster. And, yeah, we see that... You know, so Anna takes Sasha to to see Elias, and yeah, really, really great that you know the the yeah that that it is yeah you know it turned out to that that Anna was was trying to help, and at first Sasha is walking you know alone. 
and then Anna and Pauline join her and the rest of the friend group and Cynthia which like I'm not mad at it but I also don't really know but but yeah you know it's a great it's a great visual metaphor you know it's not necessarily oh you know I wonder where they're going no no like it's saying she's not alone Sasha is not going through this alone she has people close to her who care about her and yeah you know she ends it with saying that's who I am who are you and then it goes to to credits and I believe this is the only episode where the music is like triumphant like you know this is you know she has she yeah Sasha has come to a point where she accepts uh, you know and this is where I've, I I I'm yes I I at the end she says you know Sasha expresses having not made a final decision on identifying as male or female you know so the the yeah it's it's a yeah really really great ending and yeah I I don't think I have anything else to say that is a spoiler um, let's see this is definitely last call for spoilers um, yeah that's that's everything so yeah I will record the review itself you know yeah probably right after I'm done with this so hope to catch you there bye trans rights for human rights